Now let's explore the factors that influence exercise prescription. What do we mean by intensity of exercise? By definition, intensity is the rate of doing work. So how do we manipulate the intensity of exercise? The following are some of the parameters that uh, determine the intensity of exercise. Um, the time you do exercise for, the distance you cover, the power you are utilizing, the energy you are spending in the process, the respiratory rate, the oxygen consumption, the amount of oxygen you require to do the activity, then heart rate, change in blood pressure, and also self-awareness of uh, the level of exercise. These are the, some of the means by which exercise intensity can be determined. In this part of the lecture, we are going to concentrate on heart rate and rate of perceived exertion as a means for understanding the exercise intensity. Oxygen consumption is considered to be a, a very valid tool for measurement of exercise intensity and uh, a predictor of long-term health. However, it is a complicated process uh, to calculate the VO2 max, um, which is uh, the maximum oxygen consumption uh, of for, for an individual. Um, hence, uh, it is generally correlated to the heart rate maximum. Now we are going to focus on heart rate as a measure of exercise intensity. Heart rate uh, significantly correlates with VO2 max. It is a more practical method for measuring exercise intensity. Heart rate can be measured by pulse, but measuring pulse manually is often not reliable and it is difficult during exercise. The second, uh, the probably the best way to uh, measure heart rate uh, is through telemeters uh, which uh, remotely sends uh, the pulse uh, and uh, an example is polar heart rate monitor. Now heart rate also correlates with uh, age. There is a, a formula uh, to calculate the, max save, uh, the maximum heart rate uh, possible for an individual and that is uh, called uh, the carbonance formula. It is 220 minus chronological age. Say, for example, your age is 30. So the maximum heart rate uh, your heart can achieve is uh, 220 minus 30 is 190. When prescribing exercise, we need to abide by a few rules uh, related to heart rate. Your heart rate uh, should never exceed 85 to 90 percent of the heart rate maximum. So if you are uh, age 20 years, then your heart rate maximum is uh, 220 minus 20 is 200, 90 percent of which is 180. So you can, uh, your maximum, absolute maximum uh, exercise heart rate should never exceed 180 bits per minute. In fact, that's the highest uh, point. It should not exceed 85% of uh, your maximum heart rate. The second thing that uh, you need to know is that about 60% to 75% of your heart rate maximum is uh, the training zone. So if you want uh, to um, achieve benefits of uh, exercises you need to exercise at 60 percent to 75 percent of the heart rate maximum now press the pause button on the, the video and try to answer these three questions finally let's discuss about rate of perceived exertion as a measure of exercise intensity this scale starts from 6 and ends at 19 and this corresponds to the uh, way you feel after doing exercise. So if you're feeling uh, that the level of exercise is very very light then probably you're achieving something between 60 to 80 heartbeats per minute 
and uh, that is converted uh, into rate of perceived exertion as 6 to 8. Similarly, if you are thinking that uh, you are doing uh, the exercise level is hard, then probably you are reaching 150 to 160. Although it's uh, not 100% accurate, still it is considered to be a valid tool of measuring exercise intensity and probably the most practical way of doing it if you do not have a um, pull a heart rate monitor uh, or any other way of measuring your heart rate. After discussing about uh, the physiological response to exercise and uh, the different ways we can measure the intensity of exercise, it is now extremely important to understand how safely to prescribe exercise to our client. Um, we, un we very well know uh, that there is a change in physiological parameters such as heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate in response to exercise. Now, if you are suddenly stepping up uh, the level of exercise, then it may strain the musculoskeletal system as well as the cardiorespiratory system. It is advisable to do a warm-up uh, before the exercise and uh, a cool-down after it. However, if you have uh, seen uh, the program on BBC by Michael Mosley, uh, on, presented by Michael Mosley on the truths about exercise, uh, then you know that some scientists are now suggesting that 20 seconds of maximal burst of exercise can be very effective at increasing VO2 max. However, um, further research uh, needs to be done to verify this claim. As yet, we still stick to the concept of warm up and cool down because uh, we understand that it is necessary to prevent at least musculoskeletal injuries uh, and also to prevent unnecessary strain to the cardiorespiratory system. The second important thing is that in no case your client should exceed 85 to 90 percent of their maximum heart rate. Thirdly, it is advisable for uh, the, uh, the clients uh, not to hold their breath during exercises because you remember, uh, if you can remember the picture of uh, the weight lifter, if you if you hold your breath and uh, do strenuous exercise, it would be very strenuous for the heart. Finally, it is very important to keep a watch on the clinical indicators where, while doing exercises. Uh, so, uh, so if you are the person supervising exercise, make sure that your patients are not uncomfortable or not having uh, any significant issues that can pose danger to their life. It is also very important to understand that every individual is different and it is important uh, to consider the age, condition, fitness level and uh, the goals for the patients or the clients you are dealing with. It is essential for you to uh, do some further reading uh, referring to uh, recent uh, journal articles on exercise physiology. However, you can start uh, um, uh, reading uh, some good books uh, to develop the basic understanding of exercise physiology, McArdle Catch and Catch, um, es Essentials of Exercise Physiology is uh, the recommended book to start with. Thank you very much for watching this video podcast. If you have got queries about exercise physiology, please discuss it with your uh, tutor. Thanks very much. This is Marak Mishra. And if you need to contact me, please email me at s.mishra at mmu.ac.uk.